All right, I got something really cool today. I've been getting into solar power, solar generators, and things like that. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Black Bee 1000 from Alpha S. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony and yeah, I'm a huge geek. I love electronics and I've been really getting into solar power. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Black Bee 1000 from Alpha S. It's a large power station or solar generator and it is a really nice one. Just a couple things before I get really into this. This will be my third review on this type of thing and while I'm a big geek and I love my electronics and stuff, I'm really not a big engineering guy. I'm looking at these from the perspective of a consumer. Like if I were just needing something like this, which I I do. I live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, which is a hurricane area. We get hurricanes, nor'easters, and many things that can knock out power here. So having something like this is a great thing. I'm also big into electronics. You know, I've got my electric skateboards, electric scooters, electric bikes, electric guitars. I, I just have a lot of electric stuff. I love it. Last time we lost power, I just had little power banks like that size. Yeah, I could charge my phone from it, but it wasn't going to help me with anything else. So at least at this point, I'm not going to be the guy who's putting multimeters and all that kind of stuff on them. I'm going to base it so Solely on the fact, does it work for me? Does it do what I need it to do? That said, I am getting more and more familiar with these things and it's not out of the question that I might do that stuff in the future. As a consumer, this is a nice power station. I'm able to charge my skateboards from it. My wife and I cannot sleep without a fan on at night. I can run two fans off of this thing, no problem. I'll still have power left in the morning. And we just got done with Christmas and my wife cannot live without the lights being out on the tree if we had had a power outage during that. No problem, I could have just plugged everything into that. What we're gonna do is look at the website for some specs and their claims. We'll take an up close look at it and then we'll give you my final thoughts. A couple of highlights here on the website, free shipping within the US. It has a two year warranty, a 30 day money back guarantee and 100% secure shopping. Now this thing does weigh 25 pounds, so shipping would be pretty expensive. So free shipping is good. It has a 1036 watt hour capacity, a 1000 watt output power. So basically anything that runs 1000 watts or below, you can run it on. It has 12 outputs, including two that are on the top of it that are wireless output, so you just drop your phone on there or your AirPods or whatever charges wirelessly. It does use pure Cinewave and it has two-way quick charge. That means that you can plug it into a wall outlet with the power brick and then you can also plug it in with a USB-C cable with the PD100. It does have a massive battery, but a lot of these power stations are using the, I'll just shorten it by saying LifePo. This uses lithium ion, so it would probably be a little bit better if it had the, the LifePo in there. It says on the website that there is 2000 watt peak power on it. Just to give you an example, with a smartphone, it can give you 60 charges. A 12-inch MacBook Pro, you can get 12 to 15 charges off it. A drone, maybe 15 charges. An air purifier, you'd get seven hours at 120 watts. If you have one of those little car fridges, 20 to 40 hours. A light, you could get 80 hours out of it. If you're using a projector, eight hours, 13 hours on TV with 60 watts. And a lot of people use these things for CPAP machines when they're camping or that kind of thing. And if the power went out and you couldn't sleep because you needed your CPAP, well, this would be important. 20 to 40 hours hours on a CPAP machine, which is, that's really good. On the back side of this thing, it's got some built-in LED flashlights, up to 1600 lux, three brightness levels on that. And it has an SOS emergency mode as well. They say you can run up to 12 devices simultaneously, perfect for camping, off-grid trips. It's possible to charge or run your smartphone, laptop, drone, mini fridge, CPAP, etc., all together efficiently. Now I have run this with two phones on top of it using the wireless charging. I had a fan plugged into it and an iPad plugged in with the, you know, with the Apple power block charging all at the same time. Seemed like it was doing fine. I got no warnings for it being overheating or anything like that. So it has two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, three outlets for AC, one car outlet, and two DC ports, which are 5525. I don't know if I'm saying the word right, but they use pure Cinewave technology, just like AC power coming out of any wall outlet, charger, laptop, phone, or other delicate devices without damage. Which is really important to me because some of the stuff that I charge with it, like electric bikes, electric skateboards, and things like that, they're very expensive, man. An electric skateboard can be two to $3,000 and you don't wanna have your power source messing that up. Haven't had any issues whatsoever. One thing to keep in mind though, if you're using the AC, it has to use a converter or inverter, which does affect the overall amount of power you can get out of it. It shortens the life of it, basically. There are four easy ways to charge this thing, AC plus USB-C, PD 100 watt, 4.5 hours if you use both of those. With just straight up wall outlet, it is seven to eight hours. If you use two solar 100 watt panels, you can charge it within six to seven hours. 
And with the car adapter, you can charge it 10 to 12 hours. It's big, in fact, bigger than any of the other power stations that I currently own. and does weigh 25 pounds, but it's still very, very portable and has a nice handle on it. So it's easy to carry this thing. And it doesn't take up too much space. And it does use a 9.4 V0 flame resistant case. Yeah, I know that's a lot of information, but when you're looking at these things, they're not inexpensive. So you, you wanna make sure that it's got everything that you're gonna need on it. So let's take a closer look at the device itself. So here we go. Before we show you this, I do wanna show you what it looked like when I opened up the box. It's all nicely packed inside of there and you've got everything you're going to need to get started if you're going to use a solar panel you're going to probably use the stuff that comes with the solar panel to plug into it and it's all going to plug into the input on there so inside of the package you've got a user manual and a warranty card you got 24 months warranty and you can get an extra 12 months warranty on it as well so three years warranty would be great they tell you a little bit about alpha s and they're i guess a pretty big company they do a lot of stuff with residential and commercial market so that's uh that's good they have 10 subsidiaries got your warnings and stuff and then your package list and yeah i'll show you what came in here in just a little bit but you got a usb cable the power adapter card charger warranty card and manual so aside from the manual and the warranty card we've got the power block and that's what the power block if you want to look at the specs on that and you've got the car plug cable and a nice USB-C to USB-C cable. Here are specifications. I know some people like to geek out on that, so I'm gonna leave these up here for a second. If you'd like to pause that and read through those, you're welcome to do so. It's also available on their website. It's a very thorough manual that gives you just about every scenario that you can imagine, including troubleshooting back here in the back, so that is great. As far as charging with the solar panel, the input voltage is 12 to 24 volts, and the input port is DC5525. Yeah, they go into everything that you'll need to know inside of here. This is what I was talking about earlier. When power is converted via the inverter, there is some energy loss. So, yeah, you might get a little bit less power out of it if you're using your AC ports. So what I showed you earlier on the website lines all this stuff out here. But for each one of the different sectors on here, when you want to use them, you'll just push the button and hold it and then it comes on. Got a nice color display on here. Shows your watts in, your watts out, and your percentage. And there are other icons and stuff that will show up on here if you need them for warnings and things like that. You can turn that off just by pushing the button again. When you wanna turn on one of the sections, you can do that. And you can have multiple sections on at the same time. That display is nice. A lot of them just have, you know, basic black and white displays. This has got a nice color display on it, so that is also good. If you have nothing plugged in and you just want to see the information about what your battery level is or whatever, just push the info button once and it'll turn on or push it once again and it'll turn off. When you want to turn on the wireless at the top, you'll see there's a blue light that's in the middle here. And when you click this twice, one, two, that comes on. And then you just drop your phone on there. And there we go. It'll start to pulse like that. That means that it is charging, and I can see on the phone that it is charging. You got two of them up here, so you can just drop two phones on there. It's great. This phone right now is charged to like 92%, so it's really, I think it's, it's at the end of its charging cycle, so it's not gonna max out on the wireless charging, but still, eight, nine watts, that's, that's really good. All right, so I've got my iPad here, and I'm gonna plug that in right down here. Okay, immediately goes up to 11 watts out, 12 watts. It averages between 11 and 14 watts when I'm charging an iPad using the uh, yeah. USB. All right, so I've got an electric skateboard here. We're gonna plug this in. I'll turn that segment on. Okay, now I've got the skateboard plugged in as well. So we're running 141, 142 watts outside the, well, out on the output of that. So let's do this. Now I'm also gonna drop a phone on top. And that is also charging. And it's really, that for whatever reason, that's not taking much power at all. I think it's because that phone is actually charged to about 92%, so it's kind of trickle charging now. But there you go, so 147. So that's three things plugged in. Now I've had it like this and also plugged in a fan and some Christmas lights and all that. It, it really doesn't have any problems at all. So if I was stuck in a power outage from a hurricane, nor'easter or whatever here in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, no problem. I can plug in my fans, two of them, because we gotta have two fans to sleep in our, my bedroom. I could plug in a TV and I could put both of our phones on here so I'd have some entertainment. And with the amount of battery that's in this, I can really count on it. Last thing I wanna show you, I'll just pop this handle up here and we're gonna turn it around 
is right here on the back, the lights. Yeah, so these lights can be very bright, so hit it once, and you've got your lowest setting. We'll hit it again, your next highest setting, and again, your last highest setting in bed. That, that is really, really bright. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it'll light up a whole room. Again, and it turns off, and if you double tap it, one, two, then you've got SOS. One more time, turns off. So there we go, the Black B1000. So aside from the fact that it doesn't use a LifePo battery, that's just the easiest way to say that, it does everything I needed to do and works really, really well. Love that it has those wireless chargers on the top. I can just drop my AirPods on there or my phone or anything that has that wireless charging ability. And that leaves 10 other outputs for it. So that's good. It seems well constructed and as far as noisy goes, if you have a lot of stuff going on at one time on it, yeah, the fans will kick in. It definitely, you know, the fans are important. So you do want to make sure that you keep the vents on the sides of it uh, clear so it, it can vent. I'm still learning about the tech specs behind it, but being the geek I am, I'm sure I'll learn more as I go along. But this one's nice. I like it. And it, it charges my electric skateboards and bikes and, and all that stuff quite well. Again, I live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and we can actually drive on the beach in different times of the year. And I have taken it out there with my guitar and an amp and plugged it in, sat out there in the back my truck it was pretty awesome it, it works great for that too it's nice that it has that led light because when a power outage happens just pop that thing on and no problem and as far as sos goes yeah, you never know when you're going to need an SOS light, right? I have yet to charge this completely with solar, but I have plugged it in and it seems to get a good input into it. Lately, the weather here hasn't been perfect for doing that, so uh, I'll test that out later on. If it doesn't live up to the claims, you know, maybe we'll make another video on that. But just being able to plug it in and have that as a power source for whenever you need it, that's a good thing. And actually, the power lasts up to six months. They say you should, you know, plug it in every three months or so, but yeah, I mean, that's good. Yeah, after having a couple of power outages here and having little tiny power banks to use to charge my phone and stuff I really got into this I was like oh man this is really cool so as I do more as I explore more maybe we'll do the multimeter and all that kind of stuff but you know for now I'm just looking at this as a consumer as a consumer if I bought this would it do what I needed to do and yes the Alpha S Black B1000 definitely does it. I've got two other power stations slash solar generators that I'm gonna be reviewing here on the channel. So I'm really excited to learn more about all the solar power and these generators and to put them into use. So that is the Alpha S Black B1000. And I wanna thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, share, subscriptions, always very important to my channel. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there is a red subscribe button down there. If you click that and the notification bell, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. My channel's been around since 2013 I've always focused on things that that I'm passionate about and this is definitely something that I'm passionate about also electric skateboards bikes scooters electric guitars so if you're curious about any of that please do check out the other content here in my channel and I'm very humbled and grateful for your support well that's gonna do it for this episode we'll catch you next time on the vapor trail channel <laughs>